Today we are going to say about the Arduino Blockly software, which is a, a visual programming editor for the Arduino that we use to program the Arduino board and which uses generally the Google's Blockly. So let's see in detail about it. This is your your Arduino Blockly software before this we have to download and install this I will show you that but you remember that when you are using the Arduino Blockly along with that we need to have the Arduino IDE platform 2 installed on your laptop so both the links have been provided in the comment you can download both the click on download for Windows this will open scroll down and here you will find the Windows zip file click on this to download come to the download section you will find this zip file unzip this so once you unzip you will find this folder and copy and paste this folder somewhere in the new volume of your laptop so I copied and pasted it here in my new volume and I'm going to open this now scroll down you will find a blockly underscore run file click on this and create a shortcut by sending it to the desktop so the shortcut is created now you can see on the desktop double click to open this the software is open. Here. Once you open the Arduino Blockly, then you have to do some settings here. Go to the preferences. Here you need to copy and paste the path of the Arduino IDE that you will get in the C drive of your laptop. Come to the C drive here in the program files. Click open. You will find the Arduino. Open this. Copy this path. Control C. Come back here and paste it in this part. Compiler location. And in front of that, you have to type slash Arduino underscore debug dot EXE. Once you do this, the Arduino Blockly can open the source code directly into the Arduino IDE platform. So do this setting and return. Here this is your Arduino Blockly. You can see that this white color part, this is your canvas where we drag and drop the blocks to create the source code. And this is the right side where you are getting the Arduino source code for the programming. On your left side, you can see the find options like for logic, loops, maths, text, variables, functions, input, output, time, music, motors, and communication all these blocks have, has been segregated just to facilitate your programming that makes very easy why do we build a simple program for blinking led so let's go to the input output section take this first block drag click hold and drop it here you can see that on your right side you are getting the arduino source code easily consider my led is connected to pin number four pin number four i changed it and high means on that means the LED is on so I will decide for how much time it will be on by putting a delay go to the time section take a weight block and this for 1000 millisecond which is nothing but one second so I want to make this low now so I will click on this right click and say duplicate I can duplicate the blocks and I'll make this low similarly for low I will put the delay my programming is ready to blink an LED if I want to put any comments, I can put the comments, add a comment and here I will write LED on. So you can see on your right side in the source code, you will get this comment. If I don't want to have this comment, I can remove this. In some case, in your programming at some point, you don't want to have this block in the source code, but still you want to have it on your canvas. That time you can disable the block, right click and you can disable the block. At some point of time, if you want to uh, you want to enable the block, enable this. In some cases, if you don't want to have this set of blocks, you can delete by click hold and put them in the dustbin. They will get deleted. This is now the code is ready. We want to take this code from here to the Arduino ID. There are two methods. One is click on this option. Here the Arduino code is opened. The second option is in some cases, this source code will not open directly in the Arduino ID. In that case, we can copy and paste this code. Tap on this source code side section, control A, control C, open the Arduino ID platform manually. And here you can control A and control B. Why this control A? In some cases, you may have some Arduino ID code exist there in your file so in that case you can delete that and paste it one fact i want to ask you about you know this arduino id is a software but you do you know that this software is designed by an electrical engineer mention that engineer's name in my comment section so this is about the arduino blockly and the arduino ide how they are related how beautifully we can do the programming keep on watching our videos please do like subscribe share the video till then see you bye bye Please subscribe, support and keep learning. Thank you.